Hello, good afternoon, uh, or good morning, or good evening, if you want for the replay. Today is May 26th, that's the third class we study about. The We've talked about aquatic in last two classes. If you guys remember this one, right? That's the first class we introduced the material of, uh, of the acrylic, uh, the thickness of the coverage. Uh, I received a few homeworks last week about the dog. I found out maybe uh, I went too fast. I want to fall back a little bit, okay, to talk a bit more about the acrylic material. Um, the major difference, let's put oil painting aside first. Let's talk about watercolor and acrylic. The both was mixed with the water. So we say last time like watercolor. Watercolor is transparent. Have the transparency to see, right? It's very thin. It's just like more like a, a ink. You mix it with color, okay, with very brilliant color on that. That's the watercolor. This is watercolor too. It's very thin, layer after layer. For example, that's the first layer. Then the dark blue, it's slightly very delicate second layer on top of the light blue. They can still see through the base layer, okay? The darker color go afterwards. Go to the light color at the first if you use the dry way to draw it. Or the color, use the wet way to do that. So the difference you can tell from acrylic you see, you can see last sample was a lock on that. So um, let's go back. What if I want to do the same way what uh, the watercolor is? The credit to do that? Uh, the answer, I will say yes. Okay, it's uh, almost the same thing. Um, for last time I introduced the different acrylic color for that. Those are very Simple one, you have a mic, okay, not too expensive. Those regular one for kids too. Those two, you can tell one, the both are not thick. The coverage is not great. If I buy uh, those uh, big bottle, okay, this is very thick, okay. Cover the background if you want to uh, block the mistake or you want to fix the shape. You thick one to do that. Or you can mix with the thick one with those uh, material, uh, with the thin one. Okay, um, this is a sample I will show you guys to use different thickness for the acrylic. Let's let's do that at first half, then we draw the painting afterward. Um, if you guys know uh, this spray bottle, this spray bottle is don't have to be this kind. You can buy a lot of spray bottle and say, oh, this is I used for window cleaner. That can spray what? Spray the mist. You can see from the... <sighs> okay. Why? Why, 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 why? Why did that happen again, again? Okay. Let me put some uh, white color. Oops, too much white. Always give me too much white. Uh, okay, let's still test with the same. I think I touched the wire, okay? I'm not sure. Now, uh, I'm not using the water anymore. I use the white, okay? To with the green. It's not water with the green. It's not like ink color. It's the white mix with green. That can see, start to see what? See the mark there, right? That's the one like last drawing. If you guys can see it clearly, that's the different is. Okay, so for those students, last time I have problem with the edge. Okay, like a color side by side. You, you can see that, just be careful. Okay, even they touched together. Maybe I use another color. Okay, hold on. I use, I, I add some blue here. 
Yes, uh, green on green is the same. Okay, uh, one more thing. Dungeon cutter, either way, clean up your brush, okay, or switch a brush. I will switch a brush here. Let me switch this one. Okay, that's the blue only. This blue is very thin. You can even tell, even on the white canvas, you can see that it's very thin layer. I don't believe that can really cover. See, I don't really block the green here. But if I add some white, now I add white, mix it with that, because it's not uh, add white, because white uh, at, at here, uh, that's the that's the very thick color I have. You can use other color if you, uh, what's that called? Anyway, I suddenly forgot the name. Look, if you add uh, the thick color, that can block. I cover it on the green part. Now the broccoli is half done, mixed with, now uh, what does that look like now? It's like a tree. from nowhere floating the sky okay that's uh that's weird okay but so but that that's okay i just test i just show you guys how to do that that's the thick way it's the mix with the waterway and uh, sometimes because the color itself the color you bought from the store maybe uh, have different type of thickness uh, i don't know you need to test it has a different way to do that or just a whole bunch of white, very chunky white. That works too. That if you go very chunky way, right? It's same as the one here last time. It's uh, if you go even thicker. All right, that the thick one. If you buy from store, it's called heavy body. I I realize now it's called heavy body. Okay. Everybody is uh, very thick. Okay, see, this white is very thick, right? I made it like a, a skin, piece by piece, or like uh, the cloud. It doesn't matter. It's just, uh, just a sample I show you guys. If you have those wasted frame, you can play around with it, okay? Um, I think today's video is now when that smooth. I don't know why it shows, but let me try to continue it. Okay, I will. I will. I will smudge those colors. Know why? If you know the words of uh, rhythmic, rhythmic is same as the the music. Okay, different beat pattern. Of the music right same as color is with different color different brightness okay not the same solid color altogether so okay I don't know what that is that was just a sample I'll leave that aside first okay that was a sample I hope you guys can play around to get used to it uh, don't go to the chart yet play around with the color maybe we'll waste some color but I think it's worth to use that. Okay. I don't know if it's been that problem or what problem. It always says error on it. Um, stream status is very poor. It says error, error, error. I will keep going, okay? Maybe you guys will take some time to see lagging there. Sorry about that. Or you have to rewatch it later. It's always glitching here. I don't know why. I don't know why. I hate that. Every time, not every time. It was slow. Okay. Um, oh, let's talk about that picture first. The picture there. Uh, uh, there. 
That's the picture. We're not going to draw that, okay? But we just talk about that. Um, the, that picture was I found online. It's about a starry night. Um, I don't think we usually see that many of the stars. I don't know if that's real or not. But in reality, the night usually is just dark. If you guys went camping or not, once I go to the um, campsite at nighttime, there's no light at all. No light. So it's just completely black. Okay, if I don't have the flashlight, I don't see anything. That's really dark. In some of the book, they say, oh, that's the moonlight will lit up for the road. I don't think that's too bright in the reality. So, okay, just look at the picture here. This picture is a good one. At least they show, um, they show the trees, the, the skies, and the mountain very far away from us. You can see that. Um, when we want to draw a picture, for example, like this, are we going to draw exactly for the picture? Because uh, especially when you draw something live, yes, that's right in front of you. Um, we naturally will follow what we see, right? And a draw look like the very similar color, similar shape. Okay, let's do some tests on this picture. Okay, I use the Photoshop to adjust the color a little bit. Look at this. I increase the contract. What if I draw the picture? Let's. Okay. Okay, go. Go away from me. Okay. Let's say I change some color on that. Okay. Look at the picture there. If I add some more light on here. Okay. What if like a purple? On here. I create something by myself. Is that okay? Look at the mountain color right now. Look at there. Right? Oh no, sorry. Look at this small piece on the mountain. Four, it was still very solid, very dark. I mixed the sky color with that. Okay? More purple right now. What if I go a little bit uh, blue on somewhere? It's not blue enough. Uh, I'm not teaching you guys how to do Photoshop. Okay, I just should. I hate that, but anyway, I have nothing to do. I don't want to read to again. My mind just completely disconnected. Sorry, sorry, guys, sorry. I don't know why, but sorry. Okay, let's go to that picture right now. Let's see what you withdraw today. Um, let's make the sky color first. You see the series down that picture, the Photoshop picture I made here. Okay, we can try use that color to do that. So I still use the white here. Oh, it's dripping. That's okay. Let me see if I have orange. Orange, orange. Yes, I have some orange. Not too much. Okay. Okay. Um, look at the, this background, the color ground I did here. Again, this is a wasted canvas. Okay. I was damaged by my naughty son. I will put the background on that to block everything. But see the purple? It's uh, not too thick you can see um, the brush mark there also if you compare with the original canvas the canvas coming from just canvas it's like a fabric with the primer it's rough right it's uh, matte but when i put the background there let's see we put up uh, one straw of color here see that's block at all what do we do if like that, I mixed some orange here already. I don't see that coming well. Okay, let me turn off one light. Is that better? No, still don't see too much. That's okay. Uh, 
I will make some color on that. Uh, if you don't want to see your brush mark there, if you have the pen knife, if you don't have knife, at least I believe your family will have something like an unused card. Okay, unused card. Don't use a parent's credit card. And matter of you, don't tell them uh, that's my idea, okay? I show you what to do here. A mix with that. Then I use the credit card. No, no credit card. This is a gift card. See that? You can use very since the card is bigger, right? Big area than the brush. You can use that for the big stroke. It's better than the brush. Okay. Okay, I add a little bit of pink. Uh, white with red become the pink color. And that's the night color I will create today. I will put some pink here. Okay. For the middle of the light coming from, that's too thin so far. I will do that. See, if you guys buy the acrylic color, I think for this big of a picture, one box will be gone easily. Use them all. That's why I don't have enough acrylic too. I need to watch what color I use. Otherwise, I don't even have enough color to finish this joint. Then let me use some of the blue. Lucky I have the blue here. I think I have enough blue here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will still use the card because I don't want to spend too much time on to here. Okay. Okay. When you use those powder knife or use the card, right? See, the color is not really mixed. I don't want to see, on, on my opinion, okay? You don't have to do that. You can use your brush to make it very smooth. Yes, very smooth. Or I use my way. Just put those two colors together. They will still spill the two colors. You can see the blue and the red, they stay all together, okay? It's not like you use the brush, sometimes you mix it very smooth, very even, it become a new color. Yes, that's one way. Or you can just use those big surface tool. Do that, but I because I didn't put enough color here. Here, I see red and blue still not big, uh, not smooth enough. Okay, color down here. Don't use a parent's credit card. Okay, if you got trouble, uh, I will delete this video. Okay. I will delete all the evidence I said here. Okay, see, add one more color here. Um, in the reality, we don't really see the sky like that. But that's the creation we need to do. We are not just to draw the things like the photocopy machine. We are drawing some art piece so own idea your own color you can add blue or pink you can add yellow orange purple as you wish okay uh, for some area it's not uh, smooth enough then i can use some brush look at my hand my hand is dirty that's the very normal situation every day
Okay. Once you change the color, keep in mind, wash your brush or switch your brush. Don't use the dirty one or at least squeeze those color out. Okay. See, now I use the brush mark. That's the way you can make it a smooth, right? From here. And if I want to make some smooth color for here, I hope you guys don't draw like uh, this big piece of joint. It will use all your color. But for the effect for the video here, I try to use the bigger one. You guys can see it clearly. And I will put the more thick area and middle. It's kind of like uh, the lights coming from here. It's bright already, but it's not bright enough like the lights. I get the sunlight or moonlights. Okay, because uh, this I will go to yellowish oranges. I will switch the brush. If you have to um, brush wash those container, you can prepare for another another container for the clean water. Okay, that's very helpful. Okay, now it's very thick. Now it's it's different, now, right? Real thick white, very thick color, and uh, the color with the water is different. You see that? It's different. Okay, in middle of there, I will mix a little bit orange. A little. Um, how you use the brush is. Uh, Always go with the go with the stroke. A little bit purple more. Okay, what we're drawing here, this is just the background, okay? This is not nothing yet. We just join the background here, wait till the dry, we'll add object on top of it. It's okay if you see some rough way. Don't worry about to be rough. That's the reason I use the card today. I don't want everything is so smooth. You don't have to draw everything so smooth. Okay, not everything to be perfectly smooth. That's okay in some picture that's rough. That's okay. Let me go find some orange color just a moment. Just a little bit orange color. Let's see if I can still squeeze out some. Ah, yes. Okay, I will go into use. I'm going to use another new brush. I just don't want to mix with that. Okay, for someone last time, you guys don't feel good about the color mixture. Okay, very key point here is this. Use the clear drying. Once the base layer was dry, once it was dry, then put a second color on that. It won't affect each other. This is a very key point. To make it dry first. Okay, I think it's dry now. Now the color can go. See, the color now is go to a little bit of orange, if you can, can tell, right? A little bit of orange. 
So the whole picture is from orange to purple, then turn to uh, the blue. Okay, so if this background is almost done, what are we going to draw on top of it? I will still draw some uh, forest. Uh, you guys can find some picture you want. Okay, you want to draw? See, with the orange there, you can tell it's kind of like a sliding coming from there. It's not like just white. Right, the color change is uh, make the work like this. Okay, once the dry, I will draw a tree. Oh, this is too much. Okay, once it's done, I will draw a tree at the front. Things that that's the way it didn't dry yet. See now it's not dry yet. I didn't dry it completely, so it still can mix some color to each other. Okay, I will stop here right now. I don't want to spend too much time on the background. Okay, let's draw the tree at the front. Okay, that's the that's the background. Okay, let's try the foreground. This card is going to retire. I put in the color wash here. Okay, now we need some dark color. I will say F. Um, if the tree is from the front, it's going to be dark. Why? Because the, the dark tree can have the good strong contract with the light. Okay, you can tell once you see that picture, it's kind of like a very strong light coming from there. It's why I have to be dark. Let's see if this uh, this brush is too small or not. Let's see that. Oh, that's okay. It's not too small. I didn't put any of the water there. I mix mostly like uh, the blue, a little bit of black here. But if you don't have the, if I don't have the, what, the, the big brush, the, these don't absorb too much color on here, okay? That's why I need to have a few times. Keep working on the, the color side. Okay, I'm not going to draw the very realistic tree. I'm going to draw a, Very cartoonish tree here. It's dark. The bottom is a little bit uh, stronger than above, right? That's the first tree here. I draw another tree. Once go to center, center of this way, the color might be different. So I go this side, this side first. Um, uh, let me change a bigger brush. This brush is too small. Okay. Because too small is a waste of my time. Okay. This is bigger now. Let me go this one go dark here. Okay. Another tree I will draw that will be the different color because uh, when it's close to the light, color will change too. 
let's try this one. Okay, let's draw some branch here first. And this tree here, it could be a little bit thinner. Okay, then can be more transparent than this tree because uh, I need to see some space here. Okay, this tree might stop at here. I'll be sad to you later. Okay, more blue, less black. Same at that side. It's uh, even more blue. Because I need to create a space, okay? Between these two trees, one is dark, one is thin, uh, one is far. See that the color changed again. When I go to close, there will be another color too. I will draw those leaves a little bit later. Okay, let me draw it later. That's okay. I plan to draw inside those trees go even lighter with another layer of color on that. Okay. Okay, let me add some, because uh, go to inside, let me add some purple. Purple is mixed with the blue and the red. Okay, I add some, I will add some more white there. This is a tree far from it. Okay, once it goes down, I will add a little bit of blue. A little bit there. Don't have to be perfectly smooth, okay? Okay, till here is done. Uh, I don't want to draw the bottom here. That's okay, I'll have other things in my coming. Okay, you see from this tree, this tree, this tree, the differences, right? We can touch up with those tree when are fully satisfied. We can touch up with that. Okay, a lot of uh, sticks here. From here. far from it. Now I can put more water on it. I put more water as your very thin way. Okay, it's not just uh, at, at, uh, at white. I can add more water to it because I need to show some transparency here and here the tree I can draw a bit smaller. Now you can see the space from far and close. Okay, I haven't done the bottom yet. 
I don't know what to draw in the bottom. Let's draw some. What draw? I don't know. If sometimes you don't know what to draw, if I can, I don't I don't feel like uh, this part. I think I put too much too much trees here. It's blocked. Okay, let me touch up with that then. Okay, I put some more color between the trees. Okay, otherwise they're too heavy at here. Okay. That's the good part of aquatic. If I don't like something, you can cover on it. See, even I just put some color here. That's okay. It's kind of like the light see through from the back. Right? Okay, let's draw some ground here. Um, what color I use? I will still, if that's go blue, I will still go with blue then. Example here is a rock. And some bushes. It's kind of like in the fog, right? It's not that clearly you see everything that clear. It's kind of like a in the very mystery fog okay same thing as cloudy here that's okay okay we're talking about the creative today so don't worry about this part okay give a little bit oh, that's too much too strong too strong strong okay we'll reduce the contract okay give a little bit shadow onto the rock here right and down there let's do some close like a bush once the once the sink go to very close right it's going to be bigger or oh, if you guys know the um how to shoot the picture right I might sometimes you will focus onto somewhere and uh, for the close look there might be lost the focus right so you don't have to draw everything very clear um, I will put here a little bit dark okay I will go a little bit rough way so I don't want to spend a lot of time on here in the rough way don't learn from me this okay of that Go, don't go too rough because I I'm only have one hour in the class here to show you guys I don't want to spend all the time to do that see that's the that's the bush underneath right okay here's a little bit too much I will use another color to cover on that for the shape I will do that later uh, today's class is not too hard for the beginner because there is not the such a regulation say you have to achieve the certain way um, look like something I'm telling you guys how to choose the color and create something by yourself right like this forest that's not the real forest you can see in your real life that's okay it's not it's not the same and not the same color and uh, not even the tree not even the, the sunlight everything just create by yourself just be creative show something you like show me of that okay um, I will stop a while because I feel like uh, this is not dry enough if you look from the YouTube here, okay. I think uh, it looks like uh, okay, but if you look very close, uh, you can tell that's actually very rough. For those detail here, it's still very rough. For the real drawing, we're not supposed to do that fast. 
Let me make it dry for a while. So now I will clean up for my brush. I will pick a clean brush to do some details here. Um, when I say the details, see, it's not a little blurry like I said, right? I want to do something more details to finish that. I don't know. Let me put some, for example, some leaves. Very close walk. Keep in mind that's not a real, okay? That's not real. That's something I hope you guys enjoy the color color with yourself okay hope you guys enjoy uh, your own creation not the real picture here there's nothing real here for example here is a very long line long tree here you can put some leaves to break the straight line here, okay. The blue color, I don't have enough this blue color now. It's all gone, just in one join. All those colors is gone. It's so fast. No going, it's gone. But this color is in this join is very important. It's like a purplish, what's that name called? Ultramarine blue. It's kind of like a royal blue. Okay, then add some. This color here is kind of like uh, some tree, right? The middle ground here. Uh, you can tell now I'm not like a draw something. I'm like I just use the nice color to touch up with the join, to make the nicer. It's not drawing something to make the look like, right? You can draw some grass here. Very, is it, you have those uh, light blue glass, uh, grass in the real world? I don't think so. Every time when I, in the class, always hope student don't just follow me, okay? Create something by your own. Create something with your own idea. Okay. Yeah, if you guys want to draw a log or something, I want to put some small animal on top of the rock, okay? and just see the moon there. Let's, let's do that. Let me see. Okay, I'll draw a person on top of the rock here, okay? Um, for that, I then I cannot just use one brush that's a little bit too rough even to me. I want you to be careful with the shape if we want to go to the people. Okay, I need a smaller brush. Same thing. Um, since there's a light here on top of it, I'm going to draw 
on top of there yes it will be more reddish okay that's the head See, down there I go to more bluish, always more blue, 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 okay. Then go to darker blue, connect with the rock, mix with the rock color. See, it's like a, someone standing onto a rock to look at the sunlight there i don't know why he did that but anyway that's the drawing okay don't think it's too much white it's okay it's just for fun same thing as the tree down there turn to the bluish a little bit go up because uh, that's a light there go to more red go to more light i'm going to uh, let me try to go the top of my head to more light here sorry no i think it's okay then i'll leave it as is okay so this drawing was was from some background with our own color with the orange and white on the center of the light then turn to pink red a little bit then go to the blue turn to the purple and go blue right that's the first step it's it's really nothing to copy from it was from my uh, random join there's some trees far from the sunlight as it go dark or dark dark here okay and uh, go close to the light then go to lighter and more red okay then we did something like down here I just draw some color they look like a uh, rockish Okay, rockish here, it's like a rock. Oh, that's too much, too much. See, that's overworked. Oh, it's like uh, the sunlight on the rock a little bit. Okay, I will keep it then. Okay, I'll keep that. Okay, that's the, right? Uh, close the sunlight, go to more bright, go to more red, go further from it, turn to more blue, right? Even the person I standing onto the there it's like a kids when once go to the sunlight part turn to more red and the light go there let's turn to the blue a little bit more but that's very important thing between each step if you guys can tell do you know what is it still remember what I did in the middle of the drawing I use the hair dryer. Hair dryer is very important, okay? Because if you guys have a problem to put the color by color together or layer on layer, once you have the hair dryer, make the base layer dry first. Make it dry first, then put on top. And uh, another thing, tip very important, if you change the color, okay? Switch a brush or wash the clean. If one cup enough, uh, use two cup of water, okay? Use that way. And the whole thing, there's nothing to coming from. We just pick the color, like, uh, like uh, the picker above there, okay? Orange, you know, was, uh, it's a nice picture, but still a little bit too dark. It's not a bright color, okay? Then we change more color, we change a little bit, then create something buff. Right? That's the idea I got from that picture. Then use those color, use those orange, turn to the blue, purplish color, go to the background, finish the background, add something beside. Again, use the hair dryer first between layer to layers and switch the brush, okay, if you change the color in order to uh, make the color more brilliant. Otherwise, it's all green, uh, it's all gray, it's all dirty color. Okay, if there's a, some mistake happen, 
Is that okay? Yes, because this aquatic, aquatic, the best part is you can fix it. Okay. Um, wait here to dry, wait to dry, then remember the color how you use at the very beginning, then find that color, mix, then cover on the wrong part. Okay. Make it dry first, use the same color, cover on that. Okay. If even sometimes, see if I did here, sometimes you don't really cover the everything. It's okay. It's okay. That's some effect. This drawing is not complete done yet. I might draw some branch later. Okay. Just more details. If I have more details on that, that'll be much nicer. If you guys can do that too, it's, it's perfect. Uh, still, make it dry first. Otherwise, you will regret. Don't be lazy at that moment. Don't be lazy to switch the brushes. You'll be very regret all that. Okay, and uh, sorry for the lagging today. I don't know what happened to it. I'm not sure if the, the video is still running. Uh, it's running right now. I see that. <laughs> okay, that's uh, it's when well, it's not called well, it's go there. Um, sorry about that. Hope the people see the replay will be better.